Smiles Basic 4 online tutorials. Today's tutorial is on English language. Taking from Scrum 3, grammar usage at word and phrase level. Substrand 8, conjunctions. Conjunctions. Indicator 1. Identify and use simple conjunctions to link sentences. You are to identify and use simple conjunctions to link sentences. Today's lesson is on conjunctions. Let's look at what conjunction means. A conjunction is a word that joins two words, phrases, clauses or sentences together. A conjunction is a word that joins words, phrases, clauses or sentences together. It is a word, it is one word that is used to join words, phrases and sentences together. We have different kinds of conjunctions. So let's look at a few examples of them. Examples. And, but, so, all, because, although, either, however, still, unless, if, and a whole lot of them. We have different kinds of conjunctions. But in today's lesson, we are going to look at four of them. We are going to look at and, but, so, or of. Note, conjunctions are sometimes used to join two sentences. It comes between the two ideas that they join. Now, let's look at example. How conjunctions are used to join two sentences together. Let's look at these two sentences on the board. I want to eat. I want to eat. The second one says, there is no food. There is no food. We want to put these two sentences together by using a conjunction. And which conjunction can we use to put these two together? I want to eat, but there is no food. We use but to join the two sentences together. I want to eat, but there is no food. Now, we use but to join these two sentences together. So let's look at the uses of some few conjunctions like and, so, or, or but. Let's look at how they are used to join two sentences together. Let's look at and, the use of and, joining two sentences together. And is used when one wants to list a number of things. And is used when one wants to list a number of things. In a, when, in a sentence, when you list a number of things, you can use and. So let's look at example of sentences and how and has been used in those sentences. A. Ya. A four and a cause are girls. Ya. A four and a cause are girls. Here, yeah, the number of things have been joined together by and. Let's look at B. Nowadays, men and women play football. Nowadays, men and women play football. Men and women have been put together. Two things put together by the use of what? And. So when things are put together, and is mostly used. Let's look at the conjunction of how it is used to conjunct sentences together. Or is used to join two things or ideas that are alternative. Or is used to join two things or ideas that are alternative. In other 
or blue marker. It means either red or blue. We are not referring to the two. So when all is used in conjunction, all it is referring to only one. Let's look at how all is used in a sentence. Fetch coffee or done here. Fetch coffee or done here. Here, we are referring to either coffee or John, not the two of them. Either coffee or John, but not the two of them. Let's look at the second example. Take along the math or English book. Take along the math or English book. So here it means you are to take math or English. You are not to take the two. You are either bringing mathematics or English. We are referring to one. So all, a conjunction, when it refers to the other, only one of them. Now, let's look at so. So as a conjunction. So shows results when used. So shows results when used. Let's look at example of how so has been used here. She studied hard, so she passed her exam. She studied hard, so she passed her exam. What is the result here? The result here means because she studied hard, she passed her exam. So the result here means she passed her exam. So let's look at the next example. The teacher has arrived, so we will learn. The teacher has arrived, so we will learn. This all, the so here is showing a result. And the result is, the teacher has arrived, so we will learn. The result is, we will learn. So as soon as you see the conjunction so, so shows results. Let's look at but. How but is used to conjunct sentences? But is used to show contrast or difference. Contrast or difference. Let's look at an example. Contrast or difference. Either A or B. Positive or negative. Bad or good. So as soon as we use but, it's either this or that. Showing difference between two things. Let's look at examples. He is bad, but I like him. He is bad, but I like him. What is the difference here? The, he is bad, but I like him. The difference between the two. Even though he is bad, I like him. So, but has been used to show the difference here. Let's look at example two. She is beautiful, but smokes too much. She is beautiful, but smokes too much. Let's look at the contrast or difference here. The first part of the sentence is saying, she is beautiful. But, even though she is beautiful, she smokes too much. So the difference, you have two differences here. So as soon as but is used in sentences, which shows differences. Even though she is beautiful, she smokes too much. So she is beautiful, but smokes too much. Children, keep practicing. Download this exercise and answer them. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll meet again in our next tutorial. Bye-bye.